Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 2 on envelope with two given parameters. In part 1 video, we see all the basic definitions, ideas and techniques to solve the problem. And we have solved a problem. We found the envelope for a given curve x by a plus y by b equal to 1 where a and b are the parameters. a and b are connected by a plus b equal to c. c is the constant and in today's session we are going to take the same problem but the supporting condition is going to be the generalized condition so let us go into the session and we crack the problem the second problem is little similar to problem one only the parameters have a different relation so now as usual consider x by a plus y by b equal to 1 as equation 1 and the parameters given to us as equation 2 so we are considering b is a function of a so differentiate 2 with respect to a so we have to use uv rule a into differentiation of b is 1 into db by da plus b into differentiation of a is 1 is equal to 0 so db by da into a plus b equal to 0 from this we get db by da is equal to minus b by a now we get the relation for db by da is equal to minus b by a we are going to substitute this after differentiating 1 with respect to a now 1 by a differentiation minus 1 by a square plus y into 1 by b differentiation minus 1 by b square into db by da that is equal to 0 so minus x by a square minus y by b square we know db by da that is going to be minus b by a is equal to 0 so now we have to simplify this simplifying this now bb get cancelled minus x by a square plus y by a b equal to 0 so minus x by a square minus y by a b now a a get cancelled minus minus get cancelled finally we get x by a is equal to y by b now we are going to use our technique i am going to make this as x by a divided by 1 is equal to y by b divided by 1 now if i add my numerator and denominator we will be getting x by a plus y by b divided by 2 now from 1 we can see x by a plus y by b equal to 1 therefore x by a is equal to y by b is equal to numerator is 1 denominator is 2 from this easily i can write a and b in terms of x and y considering the first and third equation x by a equal to 1 by 2 y by b equal to 1 by 2 therefore a equal to 2x and similarly b equal to 2y done now as usual substitute either 1 or 2 whichever is easy for you you can just see i feel 2 is easy for me i am going to take that from 2 we have a b equal to c square a is 2x b is 2y is equal to c square so 4xy equal to c square so this is the envelope for the given problem x by a plus y by b equal to 1 with the condition a b equal to c square we eliminated the parameters a and b and we found the envelope the next question is generalized version of example 1 here the parameter have the condition a power n plus b power n equal to c power n that is the only difference there we have a plus b equal to c so let us solve this problem also which make you more familiar in this topic as usual we consider b as a function of a so differentiate 2 with respect to a we will be getting n into a power n minus 1 plus n into b power n minus 1 db by da equal to 0 so n into a power n minus 1 minus n into b power n minus 1 db by da now i can cancel n and n so db by da is equal to minus a power n minus 1 divided by b power n minus 1 so we found the important relation now as usual differentiating 1 with respect to a will be getting x into minus 1 by a square plus y into minus 1 by b square so whenever we differentiate b because b is a function of a will be getting db by da equal to 0 and we know the value of db by da so rewriting this minus x by a square minus y by b square into minus a power n minus 1 divided by b power n minus 1 is equal to 0 
let us simplify this minus x by a square minus y by b square minus a power n minus 1 divided by b power n minus 1 equal to 0. So minus x by a square minus into minus plus y by b square into a power n minus 1 b power n minus 1 equal to 0. Now rearranging this minus x by a square minus y by b square a power n minus 1 b power n minus 1. Now arrange x and a one side y and b on the other side. Cancelling this minus we will be getting x by a square into a power n minus 1 y by b square into b power n minus 1. Done student. Now we have to take a look on equation 1 and equation 2. We have to rearrange this content in terms of this. So I am going to rearrange this like x by a. So remaining I have a in the denominator here I have a power n minus 1 so a into a power n minus 1 is simply a power n a power n similarly I'll take y by b now remaining b into b power n minus 1 is b power n now when I add the numerator and denominator from 1 and 2 we can easily get the RHS of this. This is 1 and this is the power n. So now we will be getting my numerator is 1, denominator is the power n. So while we write the final data, we have to rearrange this properly. So this is going to be x by a power n plus 1 because we have a here, a power n here. That is equal to y by b power n plus 1. Done student. We found the relation now. Now we have to eliminate a and b. I am going to take first and third, second and third. So x by a power n plus 1 is equal to 1 by c power n. y by b power n plus 1 is equal to 1 by c power n. So x into c power n is a power n plus 1. y into c power n is b power n plus 1. So this is also almost done. I found a power n plus 1, b power n plus 1 in terms of x, y and c. But now the problem is I cannot substitute either in equation 1 or in equation 2. For equation 1, I need a, b. For equation 2, I need a power n, b power n. So, we need a power n, b power n or a, b. I always feel the second equation is more convenient for me. So, I am going to convert this a power n plus 1 into a power n. So, now taking power n by n plus 1. So, if I take power n by n plus 1, a power n plus 1, you think n by by n plus 1, this both powers will get cancelled, we will be getting a power n. This is good for me to solve the problem. So now we get x into c power n power n by n plus 1 is equal to a power n. Similarly, if you take power n by n plus 1, we will be getting y into c power n whole power n by n plus 1 is equal to b power n. Now substituting a power n comma b power n in 2 will be getting the answer. So a power n plus b power n equal to c power n and we know the values of a power n b power n. Therefore x into c power n whole power n by n plus 1 y into c power n whole power n by n plus 1 is equal to c power n. Now I can further simplify this as x power n by n plus 1 into c power n square by n by n plus 1 plus y power n by n plus 1 into c power n square by n plus 1 is equal to c power n. Now, now I can take this c power n square by n plus 1 as common. So, x power n by n plus 1 plus y power n by n plus 1 into c power n square by n plus 1 is equal to c power n. When I bring this to the other side, we will be having c power n into c power minus n square by n plus 1. So, simplifying this since the base is common, we will be getting n into n plus 1 minus n square by n plus 1 that is c power n square plus n minus n square divided by n plus 1 simply c power n by n plus 1. Now for the concern of weak students you just don't want to simplify this much. You go here. After this step you can directly write the answer x power n by n plus 1 y power n by n plus 1. When you cancel this you will be getting the answer c power n by n plus 1. So you just like that you can write the answer. This is also so easy for you. Just like that you can write the answer students. So this is the envelope for the given problem. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. 
see you in the next video bye bye